Hello everyone and welcome back to Beatly Toast Beatles channel. Lovely to have you here. Thanks for joining me for this video and I hope you're all doing well. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be doing episode five of my deep dive series into the Paul McCartney Archive Collection Deluxe Box Set or Super Deluxe Edition, whatever you wanna call it. Now, what the reason why I'm doing this series is, if you've been following this channel uh, a little while, you might remember back in August last year, I made a video where I looked at the price of each of these deluxe box sets on the day that they came out and compared that against the price that they were on that day in August uh, 2022 when I made that video. And what we found was that in most cases, the price had gone up hugely uh, if you were trying to get one. There were a couple that had dropped slightly in price, uh, Flaming Pie and Flowers in the Dirt, the two most recent ones. Um, but most of them had gone up hugely in value. And people in the comments to that um, that video was saying, well, I am collecting these, but I'm looking for Bad on the Run, or I'm looking for Tug of War, or I'm looking for Wildlife, or whatever it was they were looking for. And they, they were saying, well, what do I get in the box? What's in the box? Is it worth paying that money? So I thought that I would start doing this series where I show you absolutely everything that is in the box. So if you are looking for one of these box sets to um, either add to your collection or complete your collection, you can get a good flavour for what you get in the box and make an informed decision about whether or not you want to pay the price that people are asking for these uh, these days. So I hope for if you are looking for uh, one of these box sets, this series is useful. Now we have done four uh, deep dives so far into these uh, box sets. We've done uh, McCartney. We've done McCartney 2, Venus and Mars and Speed of Sound. Now, if you've missed those videos and you want to catch up uh, with those videos, uh, there'll be an end card at the end of this video, uh, where which will be a playlist. And you can just click on that and you can uh, see all four episodes that we've done so far, plus the comparison price video uh, as well. So five videos, one click, couldn't be any more simple uh, if you do want to catch up. Now, with the four that I've done so far, you might have noticed a little bit of a pattern. Uh, McCartney, McCartney 2, uh, Venus of Mars and Speed of Sound, they are all fairly small um, box sets. You know, there's quite a lot to show in them, but it was a fairly easy one because they're all sort of the, the hardback book type. So not really box sets at all, more book sets. They're just hardback books with stuff inside them. Um, but today I'm putting on my big boy's pants and I'm going to try and tackle uh, Ram, which is a huge box set. And um, this is a, a fully loaded box set. It's got three books in it. It's got four CDs and a DVD. It's got um, re uh, reproduction. It's got re. It hasn't got reproductive organs. It's got reproduction photographs. It's got handwritten lyrics as well in it. So it's got lots of stuff in it. You're going to see the whole lot. Um, so that is what we're going to do in today's video. Um, I'll just go through how the video is going to pan out. So as I say, you're going to see, uh, you're going to see the three books. You're going to see every page in every book um, that's in this uh, the set. I'm going to show you the CDs. I'm going to show you the DVDs. I'm going to show you the uh, reproduction photographs. I'm going to show you the handwritten lyrics. I'm going to talk you through all the bonus material that is on the CDs and all the bonus video uh, material that is on the DVD. So you are going to get a really good flavour of what is in the RAM box set. And hopefully if you're looking for it, you can make a decision whether or not you want to buy it. Now, if you're one of those people that are not interested in deluxe box sets, you're a vinyl person and you just kind of want the audio uh, bonus material. Um, I'm also going to show you the two LP version of the archive collection version of RAM and talk you through the bonus material that is on that. Now, at the end of the video, I will give you um, an updated price. So this is the price that I found 
today uh, for what it would cost you if you're looking for RAM and hopefully you can make a decision about after seeing this video whether you want to pay if you're looking for RAM. What I'm not going to be doing in this video is reviewing the actual RAM album because I've already done a review of the album uh, that's part of my deep dive album review series and uh, if you want to watch my review of RAM uh, there'll be a link down in the description. This is where I'm ranking all the Beatles albums and all the solo albums together and bunging them all in a uh, a album review uh, ranking table. And uh, currently, uh, Ram is sitting at number two on my ranking table, but I haven't done very many of these uh, deep dive re reviews just yet. Okay, so shall we uh, get on with it? I don't expect this to be a short video, so maybe you want to make yourself comfy, get yourself a cup of tea, uh, get yourself a beer, get yourself a gin and tonic, uh, whatever it is, sit back, relax, and let's have a look through the uh, the Ram Deluxe box set. So Ram was the fourth Paul McCartney album to get the Deluxe box set treatment. It first came out in 2012. It cost £86, which doesn't seem like a lot of money uh, these days comparing against other box sets, but I can assure you at the time it was thought to be quite expensive. Um, the box has got a kind of a fabric feel to it. Uh, you can see there on the front, Paul McCartney Archive collection and his signature and a picture of the album sleeve uh, stuck to the front. From the side, it looks like that. And on the back is just the number mine being 28,866, which is not particularly low, but I don't know how many of these they made. Okay, so now we're gonna go and look what's in the box. Now, I'm gonna set the camera up so it's kind of looking down on what is in the box. And uh, some of the bits and pieces in there, the writing on them is quite small. Um, so I would kind of recommend, if you want to get a good look at it, to expand your video to uh, full screen to, to be able to see everything nice and clear. And obviously, if you want to pause the video at any point as we go through, feel free to do so. So let's go and have a look what's in the box. So let's get the uh, the box open and show you how everything sits in the box. So when you open it up, you've got this kind of the inside of the uh, the RAM sleeve in this nice little blue tint. And uh, this sheet here is usually lightly glued on the back of the box. Uh, when it's a box, I kind of take it off and put it inside the box. And uh, when it's a book type, I usually leave it on the back. And this just tells you uh, the entire contents of the box. Um, I'll just show it to you um, quite slowly. You can pause it if you want uh, to know everything that's in the box, but there's no need really because I'm going to talk you through everything anyway. So it just goes through the uh, the uh, the four CDs and mentions the, uh, the DVD uh, film bonus material and uh, on the left hand side it just gives you a list of uh, everything that's in the box with the books and all that sort of stuff okay sitting on top of that we get this uh this book here which we're going to have a look at in detail in a minute called playback long haired lady and this is basically just a notebook um that paul and linda made during the the making of uh, the album it's quite interesting um to see the notes that they made all to do with their promotion and stuff. Uh, this is the main book. It's a 112 page book, which we'll also go through in a minute. In this little wallet here uh, are the um, the photographs, the, uh, the reprinted photographs uh, of the sessions and the CDs uh, sit here in this little section. Here, and I'll show you those in a minute. Uh, this bit here, uh, this little wallet here, it contains the handwritten lyrics uh, that we're going to look at shortly as well. And uh, here we have the uh, 
the small book of shape which is the third book that's in it i'll show you this first because this is just really literally what it is it's a book of shape and i think it's really uh, sort of uh, like one of those books you used to get when you were kids when you flick the pages they kind of move and um, although I said I was going to show you every page in every book, I lied about that. I'm just going to flick through that because it is literally just a small book of sheep. Okay, so that's the contents of the box. So let's get into the nuts and bolts of what's in it. Okay, so this is the first book, a kind of notebook. Uh, it's called Playback uh, Long Haired Lady. And it's basically a book of notes and ideas uh, that Paul and Linda scribbled down during the making of the Ram album. Um, some pictures there from uh, the farm in Scotland. Now this here was a Ram Frisbee idea that was floated. Uh, Paul has written, uh, not necessarily, but these kind of things are okay for capital to get into. But all things like, like this must carry uh, the Ram logo as on the album cover so the design must be the same as ram in the rectangle like it is on the album if anything ram's own head and the hands page there that says uh, paul's page do something and linda's page to do something there's a smiley face uh, some pictures of linda on the farm and heather as well um, some more pictures from scotland uh, the beginning of the recording of the album and uh, here we see the uh, the full picture of the copulating beetles that we see on the ram album cover obviously on the ram album cover they close uh, right in you know it's a close-up picture but this is the whole um the picture before zooming and this picture obviously we recognize as being the cover of pure mccartney this picture was taken in Liverpool. Some horses for courses. And now we're getting into some of the advertising stuff. So this is uh, some ideas that they had for um, adverts for um, music papers. It says one page black and white and in all rock and underground mags uh, here with the cover of the album and they're calling it uh, brung to you by ram um which uh, the brung to you uh, thing became a, a whole different thing and uh, it was like a promo uh disc for the album uh, this was another sort of advertising idea a speaking billboard uh, where they had uh, speakers in the nostrils there a halloween pumpkin here um some more studio shots this one with uh, mary looking on paul on the kit there and some more studio shots here paul and linda relaxing some more pictures there from scotland and uh, this here now is the um, the idea for the billboard. And it says uh, green is shaggy carpet. Now, I'm not sure if this is coming through here as uh, being green, but it's lightly penciled in green. So that's the kind of backdrop for it, uh, the idea for the billboards. And it says, but use the album back and front on there. And still using the brung to you by ram now here um we've got some notes about the uh, now here hear this promo um which we read about in the mccartney legacy this was like, like a promo disc that was sent out um to dj some notes here about it a seven inch disc in a special sleeve with side regards from you on it inviting them to play it before the record inside the record with a special label delivered by hand by capital promo men to all stations everywhere and uh, a little bit more information here um, instructions on label accompanying salesman um, the pictures here i'm not sure whether this is like recording the orchestra uh, for something like uncle albert or whether this is thrillington there's no captions for this 
some more studio work here and uh, here we have some more um, like music paper ideas for promotion um, it says um, two page full color ad for billboard cash box and record world so he's got two page spread of the album back and front there uh, he's now using now hear this only for the jingle and merchandising crap he says uh, some more studio shots here now i don't know if you can you're picking this up here um there's some very sort of um it looks like a child's writing so possibly heather mccartney it says hello from walter and liza who will visit your sheep a nice picture of linda there and this is quite interesting these are some messages um left for paul paul Capital has no photographs of you. They want you to know if you would agree to some good photographs coming down to the beach some weekend this month. Reply here. And the reply is, we'll give you up-to-date photos. Then another message. Some friends are, are producers and writers of Billy Liar the Musical. They're interested in you doing the score. Reply here. No reply. And... Um, here we have um, messages um, that we also read about in the McCartney Legacy where Paul wanted to use the Goodyear blimp, which is like a Zeppelin uh, for Goodyear tyres, uh, to advertise the album um, up in the clouds. And uh, the response here says, the Goodyear blimp is only for use by one Goodyear and two public service announcement, US Army, Police, Red Cross, Here's a tape of the Energy Bow, um, a guitar attachment invented by an instrument made here in LA. I think it's worth a listen. Now, the Energy Bow, also known as the e -bow, um, did get used. It was like a device that you put on your guitar strings. Made it sound a little bit like a synthesizer. I think one may have been used on, um, on Heroes by David Bowie. Um, I think Robert Fripp might have used it uh, to make that sort of whining sort of sound. Um, I think that is it. Known as the E-Bow or the Energy Bow. Um, some more notes there. Uh, Paul and Heather with some donkeys. And that is the first book. Okay, next we're going to look at the, uh, the photographs, the reprints of the photographs. Now, uh, so I can show you. He's taken on the farm, obviously. Paul and Linda at the uh, at the piano. Now there are two other photographs, but they're up on my wall in my room, so I'll point them out uh, later in the video. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at the handwritten lyrics, which come in this very nice uh, wallet here. I'll just get it open. And pull them out so this is road all night and we can see here some uh, some songs listing trying to get them in some sort of order by the look of it that's a song road all night which was left off the original album but it is included in the bonus material heart of the country what's the next one this one's written on mccartney headed note paper this is monkbury moon delight it's a two-sided one this one Quite a lot of lyric changes in this. I think I saw somewhere on here that he was still using Blueberry Moon Delight. Yeah, there. Blueberry Moon Delight, which is crossed out and written 
monk there. I love these uh, uh, handwritten lyrics. Work in progress. Eat at home. Called Lady Let's Eat at Home here. With um, a drawing of a lady with quite peculiar hands. Next, also on McCartney headed paper, Too Many People. Of course, you can pause the video if you want to look at these more closely. Uncle Albert. Long haired lady, complete, complete with uh, coffee stains. That's theirs, not, not mine. Long haired lady. And uh, here we have three legs, uh, which is called A Dog Is Here at this point. Written in Biro. Okay, and that's the facsimiles of the handwritten lyrics. Okay, so we're now looking at the main book. This is a 112 page book. I just thought I'd just show you the spine here. Uh, that is just beautiful. The, uh, the ram design along the spine is uh, really great. Okay. Do pause the video if you want to look at this a little bit longer than I'm showing it. The contents. And this picture of Linda taken in Scotland uh, used for the cover of her Wide Prairie album in 1998. This was taken in Barbados. One thing we learned in the uh, McCartney legacy that during this period, Paul and Linda, they knew how to take a holiday. They were going all over the place. Uh, so we get an introduction by Simon Harper. Some various snaps of Paul there. Paul, Heather, and Mary. Uh, being shown how to shear sheep. Lovely picture of Paul and Heather there. Their Dalmatian, who was called Lucky. I think we've seen this picture quite a few times before with them with the makeup. Those crazy McCartneys. And this, uh, this picture here, uh, taken in New York in 1970. Uh, we're not really sure who this person here is. Um, John and Yoko took offence at this photo. I think they used the McCartneys used this as their Christmas message photo, and John and Yoko took offence because they're kind of wrapped in sheets, so it kind of looks like the bag. It looks like they're taking the mick out of bagism. The McCartney family. This is taken in New York. You can see the Statue of Liberty in the background there. of Denny Sywell there. The songs and recording. We've got um, some uh, some story here uh, from Denny Sywell. These are in the, uh, the CBS studios in New York.
Paul adding some percussion there to uh, Denny Sywell's bongos. Uh, that's Dave Spinoza there. Also got a contribution from David Spinoza as well to this chapter. In the song Too Many People, I started off Too Many People Preaching Practices and it was directly aimed at John. But it was about our relationship at the time and me feeling that I didn't need to be preached at. Paul recording some bass on his Rickenbacker in the studio with Mary. Paul and Linda recording some uh, vocals there. So there's quite a lot of information here about uh, the recording of the album. This is uh, Hugh McCracken here and here. I don't think those headphones are going to fit Mary, to be honest. Denny and Paul there, Paul and Linda. And uh, the usual things. This is uh, George Martin's handwritten score for Uncle Albert. And the, uh, the studio track sheets. The stuff with the orchestra again. It does seem that the, uh, the, the stuff with the orchestra is actually for the, the Ram album rather than... Uh, Thrillington. Uh, this is the, uh, the the starting pistol that Paul used to record uh, the gunshots in O oh Woman, O oh Why, which was, of course, the B-side of Another Day. We just got carried away trying to get the bass right. It's talking about the mixing of the album. Eric the Norwegian, who crops up a lot in the McCartney legacy. These are the original Mer American master tapes for RAM. And the tape reels inside them. The cover shot. And now there's a section about the uh, the cover art. Paul messing around with Heather there. All the sheep are getting sheared here. Uh, this is the promo record brung to you by. And these are the letters that we saw in, you know, tell, giving the instructions like it told us in the notebook that we just looked at. Publicity and release, chapter on that, music paper ad for another day, O oh Woman O oh Why. This is from the NME, February 1971. And some more, uh, some pictured sleeves here from various uh, countries around the world. Um, we've got Japan, Germany, Norway, Italy, I believe. And here for Eat at Home, uh, Spain, Italy, Germany, Sweden. Caught on camera. There's lots of great photos in here. And a lot of colour photos as well. Um, out of all the archives that we've looked at so far in this deep dive series. This has got the most color photos. Okay, and then there's a bit about Thrillington, which doesn't thrill me that much, to be honest. But the recording of the album, the sleeve there. Uh, the marketing campaign notes for Thrillington. 
And there's a lot of those. Ram now. So we've got uh, Paul, uh, Denny and David Spinoza, uh, other characters that were involved in the recording of it, uh, Eric the Norwegian, uh, talking about Ram 40 years on. Uh, then we get the lyrics uh, to the album, which of course we didn't get in the uh, original album. There were no lyrics included. And then we get the information about the remastered album, the bonus audio, um, the remastered mono album that's included, Thrillington, and the DVD. That's all the background information. I will talk you through that um, shortly. And that is the book. Let's have one more look at that spine. It's fantastic. Okay, that's the book. So you've now seen all the books and artifacts that are included in the box. The two um, photos that you didn't see uh, when I went through them just now are these ones here uh, that are on my wall below the Imagine um, album up there. Uh, those two pictures of Paul in the studio are also included in the photo reprint uh, wallet. I've just put them in frames and stuck them on my wall. Okay, so now let's talk about the important stuff, the uh, the music and the video content of the box set. Before we go into the detail of that, I'll just show you uh, the discs. So they all come in these sort of um, black uh, paper CD holders, I suppose. Uh, that is the remastered album on the yellow um, on the red uh, we have the uh, the bonus audio disc then on the purple we have the uh, the remastered mono ram album um, available for the first time and the only time as far as i know um, in this box set ram on mono uh, then we've also got the Thrillington album on a CD included here. That's on the black label, Thrillington. And then finally, uh, the DVD with the bonus um, video content, which I'll go through in detail uh, in just a few moments. Okay, I've got one question for you guys. So when I was looking uh, through eBay, uh, to find, try and find the uh, the, la the latest price for this box set, uh, which I'm going to reveal at the end of the video. Um, I found um, a couple of uh, entries on eBay, which looked a little bit suspect, a little bit dubious. Uh, the colours weren't right, and I'm just wondering if anyone who has got the RAM box set has got the uh, the CDs um, held in a sort of a kind of a, a concertina type. Um, hard plastic jewel case. Uh, please tell me about it down in the comments because um, a couple of the, the Ram albums did have that. They had the CDs in this sort of multi, uh, multi-pack uh, jewel, jewel case and uh, uh, I wasn't aware that any uh, copies of this box set had that. I thought they all had these uh, CDs in the paper sleeves. So um, if you do have one, uh, they were these ones that I saw were cheap and the colours weren't quite right on the on the box set. So I'm presuming that it's a fake um, copy. But if anyone does have a uh, this uh, concertina type hard jewel case included in their box set. Please tell me about it down in the comments. Okay, so let's talk about the audio uh, content on this album. So the remastered album, uh, absolutely superb. Uh, when it came out in 2012, I thought this was like the best version I'd ever heard of the album. I think that has been superseded now by the Half Speed Master of Ram, which is excellent. Uh, it's now my favourite, my go-to version, but of course that is only on uh, LP, it's not on CD. So the best CD version is this remastered version included in this box set. 
Now, this too is the bonus audio. It clocks in at about 33 minutes, which isn't over generous. Um, the first three tracks are uh, remasters of uh, Another Day, uh, Oh Woman, Oh Why, and Little Woman Love. Now, Little Woman Love, uh, we kind of think of as being a wing song because it was the B-side of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Um, but when you look at the lineup for this, um, it does really belong to the Ram sessions because it's Paul, Len, Linda, uh, Denny Sywell and Hugh McCracken playing on it. So the first unreleased track is uh, A Love For You, which is a really nice uh, sort of acoustic -y sort of song. Uh, features Paul and Linda, Denny and Hugh McCracken. Um, overdubs to this were added in 1981 and it was mixed by John Kelly in 1986. This song uh, clocks in about four minutes, just over four minutes, a uh, nice song. Then we get um, an early version of uh, Hey Diddle. This is a three minute, uh, almost four minute version of, of it, um, mixed by the beautifully named uh, Dixon Van Winkle, uh, also um, featuring Denny Sywell and uh, Hugh McCracken. Um, that one is previously unreleased and a really nice version as well. Then we get to the uh, the great cock and seagull race, another bird titled uh, song by Paul. Uh, this one clocks in at about two and a half minutes. It's an instrumental. It was originally called Blues, um, first attempted during the Ram sessions. Um, the notes in the uh, in the book don't really tally up with the um, the date, which is dated at February 1971, because it, it mentions that Henry McCulloch uh, overdubs on this, which would date it about 1972, if that is correct. He's also listed on the tracks sheet that you may have seen as we went through the book. Um, the next track, uh, Road All Night, which is uh, an almost nine minute sort of freak out. Uh, the McCartney legacy called it Little Richard on steroids and that's pretty much what it is. It's basically um, just Paul and uh, Denny Sywell. Denny Sywell adding fantastic drums uh, to this track. Um, really good track. I really like this, uh, but it is a complete freak out. It sounds as if something that was made up as it went along. But as you saw from the um, the handwritten lyric sheets that Paul had already written the words to this song, he wasn't kind of making it up as it goes along, but it does sound like a bit of a studio jam, but a very enjoyable one at that. And the bonus audio material ends with a song called uh, Sunshine Sometimes, which was, um, originally mooted for the uh, soundtrack of the Rupert animated film. It's a very delicate sort of ballad. Uh, it features Paul and Linda, Denny Sywell and Hugh McCracken as well. Uh, so it's not a, an overly generous helping of bonus audio material, um, but uh, what is here is pretty good and pretty interesting as well. Um, the third disc is a mono version of Ram, which has never been released before. I'm not sure why we were still looking at mono in 1971, but there is a mono mix and it is here and it is here for the first time. So if you're into your mono mixes, then uh, it's worth it from that point of view. The fourth audio disc is the Thrillington album. Um, not really a Paul McCartney album, for me, um, if this is kind of a, or an orchestral, jazzy type or instrumental versions of all the songs on Ram. I've played it a couple of times. It's pretty unlikely that I'll ever play it again. Uh, this, that is your audio content in this box set. So on to the bonus video material that is on the DVD. Now, normally when you put in a DVD into your machine, uh, it comes up with a menu and you kind of have a 10 uh, second or so uh, piece of music that plays over and over and over again. 
uh, when when you've just got the menu and then you choose whatever it is you want from the menu and away you go. Um, but on this uh, on this RAM DVD, uh, the, we've got a thing called Menu Music, which um, plays for about three minutes. So it's worth uh, just letting it uh, letting it go uh, when you first put the disc into the machine. And what it's basically playing, there's bit there's bits of talking and bits of chatter and bits of silliness um but also uh, different versions of the song uh, now hear this song of mine which was part of that promo uh, disc that was handing out to uh, to djs that we talked about earlier uh, brung to you by uh, the thing that was given out to the djs to play uh, before they played any of the songs from Ram, so that's worth having a listen to. Uh, that runs for just about over three minutes. The whole DVD runs for about 28 minutes, which isn't overly generous for uh, one of these uh, uh, bonus DVDs that have come in the archive collection. But it, there is some value in there. So the the, the first. Um, item on the menu is something called ramming it's an 11 minute video and it's paul talking in 2012 about his memories of the ram album and that plays over pictures and videos home videos mostly um and put you hear paul talking about uh putting the ram album together um inviting linda to be part of it uh talking about how he liked the tone of her voice and how it blended with his because he'd never worked with a female vocalist before uh he talks about the auditions for drummers and that that sort of stuff um so very interesting about 11 minutes uh worth of video for that piece uh then we get two um music videos one for heart of the country one for three legs they're the normal uh mixes the normal songs from the album but they play over some home video footage which is also very nice to see uh as well probably uh, unreleased at the time footage um then we get something that i had actually seen before and that's the um the video of hey Diddle with Paul and Linda sort of sitting uh, in the sunshine against the wall uh, at the farm and you've got the kids sort of playing in the background and Martha going in and out of shots but it's basically Paul and Linda uh, working on the song Hey Diddle which they wrote together uh, kind of riffing with each other uh, with vocal harmonies and that sort of thing uh, very nice to see indeed that is about a three minute video uh, and then we get what I think is really the jewel in the video crown of this disc and that is um, Eat at Home on tour um, it's basically a version of Eat at Home uh, live in Groningen which is in the Netherlands from the Wings Over Europe tour uh, some bits of the video are footage of the band actually playing the song uh, and others are again it's home videos but this time it's from the wings tour bus so it's the band sort of messing about on the bus and that sort of stuff uh, it's quite interesting to see i've never seen that before uh, i saw this dvd and that is your bonus video material so if you're not interested in paying out the money for this great big box set, you're not interested in the video material, the books uh, or the artifacts that come with it, you're just interested in the album and the bonus audio, there is uh, the two LP version of the album. This is the archive collection uh, notable by the uh, the grey strip down the side there uh, as all the uh, archive editions have this grey strip to tell them apart from the original album apart from that the sleeve is uh, identical to the original album with the original uh, gatefold that you're used to seeing uh, so I'll just show you uh, the album this is the main album where you get the lyrics um, on the inner sleeve which of course you didn't do with the uh, original Ram album and I'll show you the vinyl uh, the labels on the vinyl match the uh, colors on the CD so that's your Ram album the main album I'll show you the bonus uh, album as well so say everything that is on the bonus audio 
uh, on the in the box set is on this two LP version. Uh, that's all the track information about the bonus audio and that picture of Linda on the back, and this should have a red label like the CD. It is, of course, uh, a 180 gram vinyl, as you would expect but if you you know if, you, if you're not interested in the box set you just want the audio uh the album should do you i think there is a two cd version as well uh which i don't have obviously because cds are in the box so my general thoughts about the ram deluxe box set is that it is a good box set uh, when it came out in 2012 it was the first one to actually come in a box rather than just be a, a book with cds and a dvd tucked inside it. it was the first one to give us artifacts like the handwritten lyrics and the reprinted photographs it was the first one to give us more than one book and many of the you know, subsequent archives have given us more than one book, but it was the first one to give us more than one book. The main book, the 112 page book, I thought was really good. Uh, the scrapbook slash notebook, I thought was fascinating, uh, really, really interesting to see their thought processing as they're going through the making of the album for coming up with ideas for publicity and promotion and that sort of thing. Uh, the little messages to each other as well. Really, really interesting stuff. The little book of sheep, um, a little book of shite, really. Uh, we could do without that um, completely. Going on to the audio, um, I think, the, as I've already said, the remastered album is fantastic. The bonus audio, a little bit light. Uh, we will always say that the bonus audio is a little bit light and say, why was wasn't this on it and why wasn't that on it there's never enough bonus material um, but you know the Ram album they worked on quite a lot of songs that didn't make the album some of which are on the bonus audio but things like early versions of Big Barn Bed and Little Lamb Dragonfire were worked on during the Ram sessions it would have been nice to have those early versions included on this album um, the mono version of Ram uh, is good because um, it's something different something that we've never had before or since and you can only get it in this deluxe box set uh, but personally I'm not going to be playing it very often when the stereo version is so fantastic uh, Thrillington as I've said is not really my thing um, I thought the bonus video was good it was worthwhile there was enough on there uh, to engage me uh, throughout so I, I did enjoy the uh, bonus video material now i did say at the top of the video that i would tell you what you should expect to pay for the ram deluxe box set if you're looking for it uh, today to add to your collection or uh, to complete your collection now when it came out in 2012 it was 86 quid which was uh, quite expensive for the time but probably reflectively now it was it represented good value for money for what you got in the box um when I did my price comparison video back in August last year, uh, the price was around £145 for a brand new one. Um, and uh, that was quite a big price increase but in percentage terms uh when i when i did that that video i kind of ranked all 11 of the box sets uh, in percentage rise terms and that was only eighth out of 11 as to, as far as going up in price and considering that two of those 11 went down in price um it was one of the you know the least biggest price hikes uh at that particular time now today you would expect to pay around 230 pound for one of these uh, which is huge uh, huge you can work out the uh, amount in your local currency that's going to be around 250 60 us dollars uh, maybe around 240 euros something like that uh, for one of these so it is a huge uh, hugely expensive in my opinion um, but that is uh, that is a buy it now price I can only go by buy it now prices because I don't know what they're going to go for in the auctions you may be able to pick them up in an auction um, cheaper than that and um, I did see uh, a couple on eBay uh, which were used uh, around about £140 if you're after a, a used one. There were some on there uh, 
claiming that they were brand new uh, around 96 pounds but they looked fake to me uh the color in the picture just didn't look right to me and uh it had as i say it had this folding uh jewel case i don't think that is a real one it could be or it could be a really good fake anyway uh that was around 96 pound but basically as a rule of thumb if you're seeing these for less than a hundred pounds um and you think it's too good to be true it probably is too good to be true it is probably a fake but if you don't mind having a fake if it's a good fake then go for it um but that is it from me i know this has been a really long video uh thanks very much if you've made it to the end um if you've got the ram box set um and uh, you want to tell me what you think about it please do so down in the comments if you're looking for it uh, tell me that as well as you know i love to hear from you i read all your comments i respond to all your comments if you are looking for the ram deluxe box set i hope that you found this video useful um, if you're not looking for it and don't care about it i hope you at least uh, found this video uh, or you enjoyed the video um, I thank you all for watching the video and I will see you all uh, very soon thanks very much bye bye